hope that you are all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today where we're going to talk about books. And today's book, our first book for June, is Love Decoded by Jennifer Yen. And this book is a contemporary YA romance. And it's loosely based on Emma by Jane Austen. And I'm not sure why, but I have been reading a lot of books based on the writings of Jane Austen lately. So let's find out about this one. Gigi has been interested in matchmaking since she was a little girl. In fact, at six years old, she pointed to two wedding attendants and predicted that they would get married. Gigi works part-time at her Aunt Rose's business, which is a combination import business and matchmaking service. Gigi is training to take over the business one day, but Gigi is also interested in programming. She's adapting the questionnaire that Aunt Rose uses with her matchmaking clients for online use. And quite honestly, Gigi would love to use this form as the basis of a matchmaking app. The clients appreciate the option of filling out the form online, but Aunt Rose still prefers the paper forms. Gigi's friends, including her best friend Kyle, who is always there for Gigi, whether she needs someone to listen to or a delicious bowl of soup. Etta is her newest friend and is new to their school, and Etta's having trouble making friends. Gigi tries to help her change others' impression of her by helping Etta change her style and hopefully attract more friends. In Gigi's computer science class, she learns of an app creating contest. And this gets her thinking that she can help Etta find friends and prove to Aunt Rose that an app would work just as well as in-person matchmaking. So Gigi designs an app using the questions based on Aunt Rose's matchmaking questionnaire. And the app sorts users into groups based upon shared interests and then allows them to chat with others in their groups. The app is a big hit with the other students, but this only brings up more questions for Gigi. Like, is she being fair to Etta? And is matchmaking what she truly wants to do? What are some other books to read for a similar experience? So we are going to start with The Code for Love and Heartbreak by Jillian Cantor. And this is also based on Emma and involves the creation of a dating app. Emma Woodhouse is entering her senior year of high school. There have been a lot of changes in her life recently. Her sister Izzy has gone away to college and the problem that this creates for Emma is that Izzy is her best friend and the people that Emma socializes with really are Izzy and her friends. Emma prefers math to people because numbers are something you can count on. When Izzy is leaving, she jokingly tells Emma that she should code herself a boyfriend. And this gets Emma thinking. Emma, along with George, are the co-presidents of the coding club. And they need a project to work on for the school year. Emma thinks that a dating app is the perfect project. George isn't really on board with that project, but the whole group decides that they should do the dating app. And all the happy couples are proof that the program works, right? until happy couples start breaking up and people who should not be going out with one another start going out with one another. Emma thought that math could solve anything, but she's about to learn that there is nothing as unpredictable as love. Perfect on Paper by Sophia Gonzalez. Darcy Phillips has been running a questionably legal advice service from Locker 89. She really wants to keep this a secret, 
because she wants to hide some things that she is not proud of. When Alexander Brom sees her retrieving letters from Locker 89, he agrees to keep her secret if she agrees to become his personal dating coach and help him get his girlfriend back. To Darcy, all she has to do is help an entitled and annoyingly hot guy win over a girl who's already fallen in love with him once. What could go wrong? How Not to Fall in Love by Jacqueline Ferkins. Harper works in her mom's bridal shop where she interacts with a lot of brides who lose sight of what's really important. Her best friend Theo is a hopeless romantic who's always getting his heart broken. After another heartbreak, Harper offers to help Theo date while protecting himself from heartbreak. Theo agrees to the plan, but only if Harper agrees to date someone, anyone. They both begin new relationships, but Harper may be the one having trouble sticking to the arrangement. And there we are. I hope that you enjoyed this look at Love Decoded and other YA romance books. And I will see you again next time when we're going to talk about the book The Moth Girl by Heather Commons. And it's a surprising look at the effects that having a chronic illness can have on people's lives. Until then, I hope that you enjoy all that you do and all that you read. And thank you.